Well, and uh, saw him on the field, and like we connected since then. Um, sorry, so I do not want to talk. It was in Jonesboro, but I don't want to really get into too details because I don't want to give like emotion. Yeah, I understand. I appreciate that. Thanks for talking. Year two, Dez here at the University of Arkansas. What What did you learn from your freshman year that you can take into your sophomore year in Arkansas and, and really make it you know, something that you can always lean on? Can you repeat that, sir? What did you learn from your, first, your freshman to your sophomore year? Um, to show people. I learned one: just have confidence and um, be yourself. Let the game come to you, and, and don't let the um, don't try to come to the game and let the game come to you. That's what I mean. Being from Arkansas, kid, that you know, your whole time you always watched Arkansas make tournaments and things like that. Missing the NCAA tournament, how hungry is this basketball team when you get back? Oh, uh, we're very hungry. New coaching staff and um, a couple new guys that's coming in. We're very hungry, coming in each and every day to working hard to get back, um, getting back to get back Bud Walton to rocking again and um, trying to get back to the tournament. What's it like playing for a guy like Coach Must? Describe Coach Must to me. Coach Coach Must is um, very energetic. He very enthusiastic. Um, he wants the best out of you. He always he won't BS you. And um, one one for sure that like he love his players and uh, he always want the best for you. Like he do a lot of NBA stuff, so that's very different from Coach A. And I appreciate him for giving us an opportunity to stay and um, also bringing them in and um, getting new guys here. I was watching a couple of minutes of the scrimmage game training camp. I noticed what stood out to me was the communication. Talk about that. Is that something you guys worked on in the off season? We wasn't that good at first, but like over a period of time, we got pretty good because he emphasized that a lot by communication. Because communication is the key. You got to communicate on every um, offense and the defense to get better. And um, if you communicate, you, that's how you know your guys got your back. Yeah, the fact that Eric's been an NBA head coach and coached pro ball, you know, almost you know probably his whole life. What, what does that mean to you guys? What'd you say, sir? The, the fact that, that Eric Musselman, he's been an NBA head coach, he's coached the NBA or the CBA for a lot of years. You guys all obviously all want to get from the NBA. But what does that mean to y'all that he's been an NBA? Head coach? Um, personally, it means a lot because he got a lot of experience and like he got a lot of connects. And after we get done with our here with Arkansas, we we have connects to go to the next level and have workouts with different teams. But just the fact that he teaching NBA principles, because really the college game's kind of going that way anyway. So yeah, he's just getting ready for the next level, and he's just teaching just a step ahead. Right, right. And then um, I understand you ran a 529 mile. Right? Um, yeah, I just went out there, not try to overthink it, just yeah. to stay focused and um, try to do what um, I had to do to beat the time that they wanted. I guess you, you and Jimmy and Isaiah helped pace the other. Like after you made your mild time, other guys on other days were trying to make theirs, and you guys went out and helped pace them. Um, I mean, we got to do what we got to do for to help the other teams. I mean, to help our teammates because we brothers and we'll, we'll sacrifice anything for each other. Eric said he's never, you know, I, I'm not sure how long he's been doing that, but he said he never had guys do that before, go out and help pace guys. Was that somebody that you just said, hey, we got to go out and help these guys? Or I mean, guys? we're a brotherhood, so we got to do each and everything for each other. And um, I feel like if one's struggling, we all struggling, so we got to help each other. Is that a good chem team chemistry thing, you think? A very good chem team chemistry. I mean, you got a chemistry, you got a chem team chemistry on the court and on, on the, off the court. Yeah. Each and everything we do, we got to do it together run track in high school? No, sir, I did not. Yeah, that's a pretty good mile time. I know you're in good shape, but still, that's a good mile time. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much. How do you think the conditioning of the team is? Eric said it was uh, phenomenal, I think. Um, it's been very good. we all been pushing each other up and down the court and off the court because we going with the track team and stuff like that, just trying to get in shape and get ready to have Bud Walton rocking. Yeah, I think you guys are the for is Jalen and you and Jimmy and Joe and go around. You guys can be a pretty good um, four-by-mile four relay. <laughs> I think we do pretty good, but, hey, that's just oh, one day, one step at a time. Yeah. I can't really say because we're a basketball team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty fair for a bunch of basketball players to be. Yes, you sir. guys are doing you used to do more short versus up. Um, well, Eric said the conditioning has to really be good. And I don't, you know, Mike Anderson obviously stressed conditioning too, but as he said, you might play seven or eight guys. You only have nine eligible scholarship players right now. If somebody gets hurt, you know, you're down to eight. I um, mean, yeah, we're getting ready to play like some guys going to play 30 minutes a night, so we're getting ready for that. And um, you got to step on the floor each and every night, even though we t if we get tired, we got to be, we got to push through.
Yeah, I know you were starting at the end of last year, and I'm sure you can play whatever minutes they need. But, um, I mean, do, do you feel like you guys can, can handle that if the rotation is that short? You know, just a couple guys out there? I feel like we can handle anything. We, we brothers, and we, gonna got, we got each other back each and every night. It don't matter what it is. You have a lot of size either. How do you think y'all will, will deal with that? Uh, I feel like we have more space losing Gaffer. We have more space down there. So that would be a very good thing because we can penetrate and attack and get open shooters. As far as rebounds, can you guys get block? Get we got to block out and go get it. <laughs> Even the guards? Even the guards got to yeah. go in there and rebound. Yeah. Um, what's Jimmy Wade added to the team so far? Length, defense, um, ability to get um, his players open and also re uh, rebound. Yeah, he averaged over six boards at SMU. How impressive is that? That's very impressive. He a, he a point guard averaging six rebounds? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's that's very great because, like, he can go get any board. Eric told me this summer, I don't think he was kidding. He, he said he might play five guard, like a five-guard lineup. Um, is that possible? That's, it might be possible, but at the end of the day, we got to do what we got to do to get the win. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. When you look out and you see all these new faces, I mean, half this roster's turned over. Um, I feel like... Coach must bring in great guys, and guys can help the system and um, have Bud walk and rock. Uh, when all these transfers start coming in, what are you thinking? I feel good about the transfer coming in. They grad transfer, they got experience already. Them coming in, they're going to help us a lot. How do you describe us? Um, he an uh, energetic, enthusiasm. He always wants the best from you, and a very good coach. Seems like he's all over the place in practice. He is. What's it been, been difficult at all trying to adjust? Um, it hasn't been difficult. It's still up and down, pace and space. It's just the same same method but different name. What, uh, what's it like gelling the new guys with the, with the returners and getting this team to bond? How's that going? Um, it's going pretty good so far. So far, so good. We're just getting chemistry with each other, getting to know each other better, and um, just hoping we can just buy in together and um, make this thing rock. Um, it's way different. It's more. I feel like it's much better because we're doing different things and different stuff with different teams and stuff like that. Like I just feel like overall it's a very good aspect with um, each other. How does boxing go? Um, boxing that was pretty intense, sweaty, hot in there. But overall, it's getting our feet feet right and our hands right because you um, it's like simulate to basketball because like you got to use your hands and your feet. Nobody got knocked out or anything. Nobody got knocked out. <laughs> Um, with this new team and new coach staff, I'm more of a scorer now than what I've always been in high school. And I just appreciate Coach must give me the opportunity to be myself totally and um, just open up to the whole experience. Yeah, you really, sorry, you really came on at the end of the year, got yourself in the starting lineup. Where have you worked the hardest in your game to, to get your game to the next level? Um, I worked on ball, coming off the ball screen to be ready to shoot and um, just having confidence as a whole. Like, you got to have confidence and uh, don't rush it. Let the game come to you. What does it mean having the players vote you as the hardest working guy? I mean, they, they realize I appreciate them. for. And I'm very thankful, first of all. I'm very thankful for them for voting me because I put in time in here. I took the offseason very personal to, in every aspect to elevate my game. Um, the biggest difference, um, it ain't really no biggest difference. Just we lost a big aspect of the team, Daniel Gafford. So we got to have people coming in and stepping up and um, trying to fill his role. Filling that role, guys like Ethan, Reggie, Connor, he can play. Um, you know, how are those guys kind of handling those? To be honest, Connor, Ethan, and Reggie, they handling really well. They doing everything they can to on um, field them shoes. I mean, we're flowing a lot better because people came back. We got more chemistry with each other, and we added on a couple guys. But hey, they got they picked up quick, and um, we rolling. How excited are you to start this season? I know the um, talk has been about just you know this new era. To be honest, um, I don't care if I start or not. Um, I'm a team guy. I've always been a team guy. Whatever coach need me, I'm gonna do. If I start or not, I got. If I come off with the bench, I still gotta bring what I gotta do to help this team win. With defense, because that was your premise last year. Uh, to, to be honest, um, Coach A, I love Coach A, but he based me on defense, and I was never a defensive player. I just be in my spots. So I've always been a scorer, and um, I'm going to 
feel, um, continue to be a scorer and uh, do what I got to do on defense and to help this team win also. What are the 